Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're looking at Astro Ace which is a bullet hell game. It's pretty simple and pretty straightforward and it's not too terrible although I am terrible at it. It is worth noting that there is no mouse support in the game which I would love to see changed for the menus at the very least. It does however work with the controller and I would highly highly recommend you play this game with the controller over the keyboard because the keyboard controls aren't great, although you can rebind them if you so desire. That being said, you've got your options here. Um, resolution, graphic quality, full screen, V-Sync on or off. I did have that on, apparently it switches it off for some reason. anti listen also seems to switch it off for some reason. I don't know why. Um, and then back. I wonder if it's... No, no, the anti listen V-Sync. Thank you. Oh, two. I've got to press two to confirm. There you go. Now when I come back, go in. Nope. Okay, so the settings aren't saving like they should do. Two. Wow. Okay. That's that's broken. Right. Okay, cool. So the options are broken, guys. Uh, it doesn't seem to want to want to want to keep them as is. Uh, every time I change them, it switches them off. Even though I'm hitting to to confirm, it's not confirming the changes. That's bad. That needs fixing ASAP. That is a huge issue and an oversight that I didn't see when testing the game. But here we are. So options are a big thumbs down from me in that they don't work. You do also have a hanger, in which case you can unlock different ships at different levels. Uh, they've all got different stats and the way that they work and stuff. So obviously, you know, the, the idea is that you play more, you level up and you get better gear to work with. Same with the weapons. You've got a single, a triple, and then you've got different ones as you level up as well. And then these here down here, which I have no idea what they are because I haven't unlocked them yet. I need to be level nine for that one and level seven for that one. So I'm level three at the minute. I will say that levels are pretty good. They're, you know, it doesn't seem to take too much effort to get the levels up. And then the gameplay is okay. But the biggest problem I've got is that even with a break and you've only got a certain amount of time to use your break and your, your accelerator, um, the, the turning circle on these ships is, is huge. Like, it's just massive and it, it can be a bit difficult to sort of um, to control them sometimes. It, it, it feels like you're losing a, a you're fighting a losing battle purely and simply because you, you, you're trying to you're trying to fight at the same time as fighting with the ship. And when you run out of. Yeah, the game is let down by. The, the game's let down by its controls. Uh, the turning circle needs to be a bit bigger. No, it's smaller. Turning circle needs to be smaller. There you go. Words are hard. Um, you also can't exceed the limits. Like, it's a bit weird compared to most other bullet hells that I've played. Because most of the bullet hells, you you move along, right? It, the, the idea is that you, you've got this speed and stuff because you move along and you move to the next zone and you... You're constantly going, which makes it a challenge, but ultimately not a bad challenge. You know what I mean? Like, it just, it feels like it handicaps itself by, by sticking to one full screen. It's not, it's not moving and it makes it incredibly difficult to, to, to do what you're trying to do. And it makes it an unenjo unenjoyable experience for me, at least. I... Like, you know, as a novice to the genre, I don't know if this is the norm to have a static screen with a very large turning circle that makes it very difficult to sort of go against your enemies. But it seems to ramp up the difficulty quite quickly. And it, it I don't know, like you still progress no matter what you do, right? You're always progressing because you always gain levels no matter how many points you get. Or, you know, 
if you die instantly everything gives you xp which is good but again like there's just too much going on the screen and your turning circle your arch is just too big and i feel like it would be alleviated it wouldn't be so bad if the screen moved if your enemies came at you and you moved areas you moved zones but it's a bullet hell you know it's meant to be difficult it's meant to be frustrating that's that's how these games are designed. I'm not a huge fan. The menu needs changing. The music, even though it says it's set on to half, seems a little bit loud. Um, so I'd like to see that changed maybe a little bit. But that menu definitely needs changing. I, it's not a, a hugely graphically intensive product. Like, it, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't seem to be taxing, but... There are some systems that maybe want that anti-aliasing and, and maybe can't run without it having VSync on. You know, like, if you're going to have it as an option, it needs to work, right? Either have it as not an option or have it as an option that works. And at the minute, it's an option that doesn't work. We've got a new ship. Cool. But there you are, guys. This is Ace, a a Astro Ace. I can word today. It's not bad. It needs a little bit of, you know, touching up for the options. And they need to do something about the, the turning circle. It is far too large for a screen that's not that large. And as you can see, there's so much on the screen that you're not going to be able to dodge it all. Even the most skilled player, I think, would find this incredibly challenging just because of how much is on the screen and how little control you've got of your ship. But let the comments and uh, let me know in those comments whether you agree with me or whether you think I'm talking toffee. And uh, don't forget to like the video and leave a comment and subscribe and all that good stuff. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Ciao, ciao, guys.